The king underestimated the consequences of his decision. King Charles seems to have made a serious blunder in taking away Meghan and Harry's only home in Britain. What he apparently thought was the only possible response to the prince and his wife's constant public outbursts against the royal family, in fact, did far more harm to the monarch himself than to the Montecito rebels he punished. Of course, when it first became known about Carl's decision to evict Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage, a mansion in Windsor it caused public approval, at least in Britain. On reflection, however, even many of Charles's subjects decided that the king had made a serious mistake, for, above all, he had gone against the will of the late queen. Not to mention the fact that once made gifts are not customary to take away, to put it mildly. And yet Frogmore Cottage was precisely a gift from Elizabeth, and not just any gift, but a wedding gift. She gave the cottage in Windsor to Harry and Meghan on the occasion of their marriage in May 2018. Moreover, the now-deceased queen repeatedly stressed that she, despite her grandson's flight to America and his withdrawal from the official royal family, continued to love Harry fervently and did not wish to alienate him further. And now Charles's decision has broken the last bridge between the prince and his family. But if Charles's subjects, as drive, Tessa Dunlop, who specializes in British history, noted, were most shocked by the violation of Elizabeth's will, the rest of the world is now discussing Charles himself. The overseas press amicably condemned the monarch, stigmatizing him for his vindictive and undignified behavior. And if so far, even in America, many sympathized with the king, believing that Harry is overreacting by making new, often very questionable accusations against Charles, today all sympathies are on the side of the prince and the duchess. They now look hurt and harassed, and as a result they are sympathetic. By the way, according to Tessa Dunlop, Meghan and Harry needed it. Moreover, there is information that they themselves organize a leak of information about the eviction from the mansion to the network. After all, as it turned out, the decision to evict was taken in early January immediately after the publication of Harry's memoirs, in which he subjected Carl and his family to new attacks. However, it was not officially announced. Apparently, the king expected to evict his youngest son and his wife, without drawing public attention to his decision. Maybe even expected that when this fact will be revealed later, he will be able to explain it not by his desire to punish Meghan and Harry, but only the need to free the mansion for his younger brother Prince Andrew, whom Charles had evicted from the Royal Lodge, where he lived since 2002. However, now that it is known at what point the decision was made to take away the Prince and Duchess of their home, this explanation will look completely unconvincing. And now everyone is condemning Carl and pitying Meghan and Harry, whose popularity ratings went up sharply after the British monarch's decision was made public, which is exactly what the prince and the duchess needed. So Carl, unwittingly, did them a favor, 